Good morning from Tennessee. The sun's coming up at 6 a.m. And today's project is to try out the uh, my new Bouge 170 watt solar panels. These will be the temporary panels that I move around the boat. So I'll have ways to like move them around and hang them on the rails. Um, I'll have another bank on the front of the boat up on the overhang there. You can't really see it from here, but there'll be a bank of 400 watts up on top of that too. These are going to be the temporary panels that I can move around. So I'm going to hang them on the back of the boat. Right now the angle of the sun to this boat isn't direct. It's off to about a, a 30 degree angle off the back of the boat because that's directly straight back. Anyways, I'm going to hang them on the back of the boat and uh, read some voltages and see how they charge my Blue Eddy EB240. Keep in mind this isn't the final configuration for these panels. <laughs> so I put one on the back middle deck there and I put two on the, uh, the very back here on the transom. Uh, one is vertical, one is horizontal. If I do this temporarily, I'll just hang them horizontally anywhere the sun is hanging out, like on the sides or up front somewhere maybe, but uh, this is just a test, so i am just got these temporarily zip-tied up. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Blue Eddy is charging at about 215 watts average with both panels. Both panels read 6 amps and about 22 volts. So now I've got them in series. I'm yeah, got them in series. I uh, did another reading, 44 volts, obviously. The amperage stayed the same. I don't like how that screen kicks off. I wish they'd leave it. In. The new one will probably make it so it doesn't kick off. But anyways, it's charging at 212, 13 watts which isn't great. Um, I was hoping for a little higher. Uh, probably the sun angle being about 20 degrees off from center has something to do with it. There's some, uh, there's a little bit of mist on the water too. It's blocking the sun, so. But basically these things, let me go out here and give you a better look. Are getting, let's see, direct sunlight. It's pretty direct as, as far as the angle isn't all that great, but still it's Nothing blocking them, so I'm gonna watch the charge rate and see if it goes up any. Okay, so I just connected one panel, the vertical panel, and that's charging at approximately 114 to 15 watts. Just to get an idea of what it would do in that position. I'll uh, plug in the other one to see how that's charging up when it's horizontal. Okay, the horizontal panel's charging at about 105 or 6 watts. You know what I'm noticing? You, you can't even see the screen on this thing. I don't know if it's because of the sunlight. I can see it, but the camera can't. Um, so it's, it's about 105 or 6 watts. And that's the horizontal panel on the back here. So I'm going to try some other stuff. Okay, so this panel I've got on the back at a slight angle. And there's the sun. So I've... It's only charging at about 50 watts. I don't know if you can see that in that. It's 50 watts. Yeah, there it is. Anyway, clearly it's at a disadvantage because the sun is at a an odd angle this morning. It's up about there, and this is still off. But anyways, either that or it's a bad panel. Uh, they don't sh package these panels very well. And uh, that one was bent. I don't know if the glass has been damaged, but I'm gonna put it down here and move it to see if it gets better. If not, I'll just send it back. But I'll probably just keep two anyway, because I don't think I'm gonna have three panels moving around this boat. I think two is enough to get it basically charged along with the other bank up front, so. Just to show the efficiency of these panels, I'm gonna tilt this one up. The sun is about 20 degrees up in the sky. I'm using uh, guesstimations. I don't know exactly how the angle is, but 
it seems like being flat on the boat like this gives it its best reading and that's about almost 120 volts of charging as I go up and I move the panel this way which is almost going past the angle of the Sun the wattage drops down the charge drops down to about 105 102 199 the further I go up so the flat angle almost seems to be the best one for just a general setting on this thing. Uh, I'll have it horizontal when I do mount it, uh, but anyways, the efficiency definitely is uh, not as high as I would hope to be for a 170 watt panel. Okay, to be fair, I wanted to also tilt this panel a little more towards the sun uh, horizontally. In other words, turn it turn it that way so it's facing the Sun better right now it's at 120 watts charging let's go look at when I move it out I don't know if you can see that screen or not there it is when I move it out more towards the Sun we're up to 130 watts of charging so it makes a big difference I know everybody knows that already I'm kind of an amateur so I'm just taking these readings just to see what it does and then this course the screen goes off in the middle of filming this so 133 watts that's a little better if I had a better angle on the Sun I definitely get more power duh so I'm taking the bent panel I put it down here horizontally in the back of the boat where the other panel read 100 and 110 watts charging and this one only reads 94 watts I'm not sure if it's because the, the angle of the sun has changed slightly in the last 20 minutes. But uh, anyways, I think maybe being bent could have damaged it slightly. Okay, for the current conditions, I have these panels, the two good panels out back, running in parallel, and they're charging at 185 watts, which is not great because these panels are each 170 watts. So. Parallel operation not so great right now. Let me switch to series and see what how it improves Okay, the panels are hooked up in series and If I can get the reading to show here, it's 246 was the highest I've seen so far So that's not clear not the greatest camera here, but So I've been out here since 6 o'clock this morning. It's about 7 o'clock now just showing the battery progression here just messing around plugging things in and out I've still got a, I got an extra bar already of charge so I'm gonna let this sit here for a few hours and see where things go and uh, I could do the math to calculate how quick it'll charge but um, I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna see what it does in real life okay it's 8 o'clock in the morning the Sun is definitely blasting a little bit harder and uh, I'm up to 250 watts charging with both panels which is good. Um, I love improvement. I need more charging power. So uh, hopefully this will uh, give me a quicker charge time. So it's 9 a.m. I don't have much charging time left on this side of the dock because the sun is going to go up over that way and over top of the boat. And we're covered here so I don't get daily sun after about 11 a.m. Anyhow, uh, right now both panels in series are charging at about 250 watts. It's a slow process for this, but if I'm out in the, in the lake all day, I've got plenty of time to let these things just sit and charge. And uh, I don't use this thing all the time yet right now anyway, but at some point I'll have another bank on the front of the boat and I'll be more efficient. We're gonna move this unit up into the boat in the middle in the center and run longer runs of cable through the boat from both solar banks. So that means I'm gonna have less efficiency from the cables because of those long, uh, those long runs. I'll have less efficiency, I mean, from the solar panels. But right now, 250 watts isn't bad. You know, that's 270 watt panels. I would wish it was a little bit more, but uh, my, my angles to the sun with these panels isn't perfect. So that's probably a big reason why. But when you mount them on the side like this, temporarily, um, you know, that's kind of how they hang. So um, I'll go with that right now. Anyway, um, other than having one damaged in, in shipping, it's just been a good experiment. 
with these just to see how they work in real life. Um, so there'll be more later on. Thanks for watching.